Hello everybody, my name is uh, Justin Kiel. I'm the uh, regional sales manager for WASP Multibeam Sonar for the uh, European, Middle East and African region. Um, I'm here to present our product called the WASP Multibeam Sonar. It's a, a multi-beam sonar, which means that it's a, a system that can actually make a, a map of the seafloor. So it's a, it's a mapping system that allows to um, find and, and project details of the seafloor where information is not available or where basically where you want to have more detail. The, uh, the system uh, is very quickly is basically uh, based on the sonar technology and sonar is um, very simply said, uh, an acoustic signal that's being sent uh, down to the bottom from the vessel. And then uh, on the return of this acoustic signal, you can make a calculation how long it takes. And based on that, you can basically measure the depth. Now, a classic echo sounder, a classic sonar, uh, usually uses just one beam going down vertically. So you can measure the depth below the vessel. The big difference between WASP multi-beam and the classical sonar is basically that WASP uses multiple beams and a very wide angle. So instead of using just one beam, we use 224 beams at an angle of 120 degrees. So with that, we basically are able to make a very, very detailed map of the seafloor like we've seen here. So what we're seeing here on the picture is a background electronic chart which, on which we uh, basically have um, superimposed a very detailed picture of uh, what's happening at the seafloor. So we can see things like racks, we can see things like rocks, all kinds of information which is very important for navigation. Uh, so in case of uh, the reason why we're here at METS for example is because mega yachts uh, they more and more tend to go to remote areas not only to the standard areas where you know all navigational information is known and in these remote areas, uh, chart and navigational information is not always available or is very poor or very old. So what basically what, uh, what we do is we mount our sonar system on a tender of a yacht and the tender will go out in front of the yacht, maps the area and in real time the data is being transferred through Wi-Fi to the, uh, the mother ships or the yacht's um, uh, navigation bridge. So the yacht knows exactly that it can go into the area and not run aground or run on a wreck or something like that. So the picture we're looking at here is, is basically uh, the mapping very, very high detail. So I can actually zoom into this detail here. And you can see the detail showing up. That is, this is basically being mapped with the system in three passes. Because we use such a wide angle, you only need three passes to get uh, a detailed picture like this. The nice thing about the whole system is because we're using GPS for positioning and all these 224 beams for our depth, is we can bring this picture very quickly into a 3D presentation, which basically shows us and gives us a, an image like this. So you can see very, very high detail um, seafloor information. And this can be used for, you know, for navigational purposes, but it can also be used for, for example, if the, um, if the owner of the yacht uh, or the guests are interested to go diving, then the system is capable of picking up wrecks or interesting diving spots. So they can easily quickly go to the spot, go diving and, and find whatever the sonar has picked up. And, uh, and so, uh, so that's in very short what the system does. We also have capability to show fish information, so schools of fish. So the system can also be used for professional fishing operations where um, the, the fisherman basically maps the seafloor and at the same time uh, can, can uh, visualize the fish, uh, schools of fish. So that's in very short the WASP multi-beam sonar system.